What is up guys, the Alt North Outdoorsman checking in with another video and today I'm going to be doing a tackle tip. Now if you think these videos are kind of interesting, make sure to drop a like and subscribe down below right now. But so I'm going to be doing this, I'll probably be doing a new episode every month of me just kind of showing you guys things to make your life on the water easier. So today I'm going to show you tackle storage. And I'm doing this for summer hard plastics. Now, you know, you got your nice box of plastics and everything. When you want to go and grab a new bait, you're stuck with the simple fact that you lift up one. You gotta, you, you lift up them all, and it sucks. And to eliminate that, so that you can just go into your tackle box and grab one bait and be done, or you can grab another bait and it won't have a and it won't have something on it I have one simple trick and all you need is some rubber bands so what you do is so once you get your lure untangled all you have to do is so you take it and set it like this you keep your the top hook down and you just take the bottom hook and you flip it up and then you kind of hold that there like that and then you take your rubber band and you put it over the one hook and you wrap and then you just wrap around a couple times and then you just put the other end like that and boom that will not get tangled and if you guys do not believe me just look at this Look okay, at all my, all my baits except for right here have rubber bands on them and I can just pick them up and even if there are baits on them, I just have to shake it a little bit and they'll come off. It's not like I have to sit there and shake and shake and shake and sit there for about five minutes trying to untangle them. It'll be fine. And then, just like lipless cranks right there, boom, I got my new crank. Square bills. Got a square bill, medium diving crankbaits, got them, need that one, boom. And one thing, if you're wondering, for longer double jointed baits, the one thing that I found out is, or just with like long baits in general, is use a longer rubber band, because that's the nice thing with rubber bands. If you got a smaller lure, use a smaller rubber band. If you got a larger lure, use a bigger rubber band. And I know this video will be short if I'll, all I did was do that. So I got another tip for you. And that tip is to organize your soft plastics. So what I used to do with mine was I would stick them right here in this pocket of my tackle box. And the only bad thing about that is you'd leave them in there so you get them and then you leave them in there for like a month or two because it's the off season and you don't need to use your plastics well then you go up to use them and they're all crushed because you've let them sit in there in that pocket for about five months so what I found out to do is do this so you take a little like two dollar storage container and you just turn that into your plastic bin what I do Besides for the fact that you can see all the plastics in it, what I did so that you know it's my plastic container, I just took a sticky note and wrote plastics on there, and then I took some uh, tape, and I just taped that on there, and then I have all my plastics and accessories for them, like right in the Ziploc bag here, I have hooks, I have weights. I have um, tube jigs, and what? And if I don't have enough room in there, then I can just throw more tube jigs right there. Boom! Some more swim bait jigs, bang! And then all of your baits stay nice and fresh, so that you don't have to worry about any wrinkly baits. So. That is 
all I have for you guys today. And these are just quick tip videos. So if you are ever just sitting at home and you're organizing your tackle one day and you're complaining that's, that it's a mess, your plastics, boom, take a storage container. You're mad, you're mad because your all your crankbaits keep getting tangled. So use rubber bands. It's and it's so simple too, because like when we go to Canada, when you're in Canada, just take the bait off and you throw it in your tackle box. You'll think it's good. Then you go in three days later. Oh, I heard that they were biting on that bait again. Well, sorry, dude, you're not gonna be able to use it because guess what? caught with all your other baits and it's going to take you five minutes to redo it and if you're saying to yourself because i just showed you that and if you're saying to yourself well i don't believe it because that bait that you rubber band is caught well look at this it's not because of the bait and even if it was because of that bait guess what all i had to do was jiggle a little bit and i got that bait out the reason that it got caught because of all the other lures that get caught on everything. See, I just, I literally just set these down and I caught a peg end of something. So, but once again, just if you like these kind of videos, leave a like, subscribe, and comment what else you want me to help you guys do. If you want to help me or help you guys talk about if you guys want me to tell you like give you tips on how to organize your rods how to organize your reels how to how to organize just about anything just leave a like and comment down below and i'll get to you on that see you guys in the next episode